what is up guys we are back with another michael zombies video and today we have michael barrel which right now is only on the test servers but this is likely what we're gonna see in the actual update maybe a little bit different maybe a few things change but overall this should be pretty much what we're gonna see when the update finally does release so i hope you guys enjoy consider dropping a like and subscribing and we will get right into this I am most nervous about the fact that Joe said that with him and Kyle both playing this testing that it was still hard. So I'm concerned about this being, whoa, I'm concerned about this being uh, hard solo. I really like that round timer. I, I actually want, I'm pretty sure they made that. First thing we do, farm points. So I played this once before just to kind of get a layout of the map. And first thing you want to do, get through these doors. Once you're through these doors, behind that ramp that you see through the doors, there is a flamethrower. That is pretty much the key to this entire map. This is a massive map. You have to buy a lot of things. You have to unthaw a lot of things. There's ice around a lot of things that you need. You need to melt that ice with the flamethrower. So the flamethrower is key to this. So right around the corner, 2.5K. So we're just gonna go and grind that. Um, the thing I picked up is for a buildable grenade. It is not necessary. It's pretty good, but it is not necessary. One thing that you do kind of want to try to do relatively early is work for getting some fuel cells. Now you haven't seen what the fuel cells are yet, but they're soul cells, I think is what they're called. I'm gonna call them fuel cells because that's pretty much what they are. You need to unfreeze the generator i think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna call them a generator you need to unfreeze the generator so that is the first thing i'm gonna do is unfreeze one of the generators basically it functions as like a generator on lighthouse where you kill zombies the souls get transferred into it but in this case you do it into a small little capsule that you have to find around the map pretty hard to find especially on a very large map but if you can do it early it really does help because these rounds start off pretty easy but once you get to like round eight or nine it gets a little bit hard so again you're gonna want to probably start that pretty early again this buildable grenade not necessary it is good though it's basically like a vortex i will probably get it later just because i think it's cool um so that's one thing that we're going to try to get done. Um, uh, here we go. We're going to try to fill up the first fuel cell. Again, kill zombies around it. Jerome shows up around 5, I think. That's, at least from my experience, Jerome shows up around 5. And he's just a little menace. Just walking around, ruining your trains, ruining everything. And he takes a lot of bullets. So I'm not really gonna try to kill him right now I'm gonna get this self revive because only person here so I kind of need it not trying to I'm trying to get two shot by Jerome and die instantly because he's always watching um and through here another capsule they're pretty small they are clear, so on the darker map, they do kind of stand out, but it is still kind of painful to find them. Again, we're going to go charge this to get pretty much any perk you needed, except for maybe the one that is hidden. I don't even know if you can get that, but it's hidden, so I'll probably show you guys that later. Uh, right now, we're just going to try to unlock everything because it is a pain 
Uh, I'm running around again. Uh, this is frozen, so you head on, freeze it. But it is a cord for the harness for the zip line, which is how you get to the boss. Now, what else happens with the zip line? Don't know. But you need it to get to the boss. And it's also kind of a fun ride. Especially if you need to run away. And here's Jerome to ruin everything. Thank you, Jerome. Why do you have to be like this? Try to burn a little bit. I'll see if he gets mad. As long as he doesn't get mad, I should be fine. Because once he gets mad, he gets a little bit faster. And I don't want that. Again, pretty much trying to unlock everything. Taking a lot of damage, so I'm going to want to get Jug uh, double, double tap uh, all the okay all of the perks and then hopefully okay Jerome you are just being annoying and then hopefully uh, we will finish the zipline harness zipline on over uh, hopefully get a good gun because right now we only have a flamethrower I've never faced the boss before I know where the boss is that's about it now we spin the box. Yum, 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 yum. Something good. Okay. I guess this is good. Let's see how much health Jerome has. Oh, what a tank. Okay. I, that's, that's a lot of damage that he just tanked. I don't like that. He's still up? Oh. My, okay. Time to run from Jerome. Because that's about 200 bullets. Maybe more. Okay, now it is more. He doesn't want to die. He is tanky. They're gonna nerf anything, and that's gonna be it. Now he's mad too, so he's fast. Chill out, dude. What? That's great. That's way too much health. At least I think that's way too much health. At this point, he's a boss. A really annoying boss. That was like 300. Oh my. That was like 300 bullets that it took for him to finally, finally get down. Um, and zombies wandering around over there. So we're going to go through here. We got a lot of points to spend. Get self again. Time to turn the power on hidden in this back room, and then we will get the frying pan, because it is good. Probably the best melee. There's another. Fuse, okay, it's called a fuse. But you get souls in the fuse, and then you attach it to, come on. And you attach it to, wait, wait. he's, I thought he was supposed to go away for a while and not come back the next round. That's actually really annoying. Oh my. Okay, I think I want a better gun. I think I want a lot of things right now, and one of them is for Jerome to be gone. Because he is really ruining things. This is bad. This is very... Okay. So what we're gonna do here? Let's try to survive this. Um, I need a new gun. I need self revive again. I definitely need jug. 
This is this is definitely the hardest map by far, and it's not even close. This is. It's like you're getting spammed with. They're faster and stronger. I didn't grab the fuse. Little Michaels. What are you doing, Jerome? You're pushing him out of the way. So we're gonna go grab the... Okay. Now we need this guy to walk over here. And... Now it's good. Now... We need two things. First... Right here. Jug is needed. And I might open this one because I might start using this one. Because, uh, maybe not. Okay, well. I don't think there's any good spot. Whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't think there's any good spot to, like, train zombies. Especially when Jerome's around. He, he's... How is he here already? Hi, Jerome. Okay. Ray gun is good. Splash damage is great. So we'll finally undot this real quick. Then now I have to figure out what I want to do here because Jerome is being a menace to society. Society being me. So, harness down that. What else? Probably get perks. So I need to find fuses. Where is a fuse? Where's the fuse? Double tap, shotgun, no fuse, okay, no fuse. Ray gun is incredibly good. I need faster reload, I need faster reload. Hi, Jerome. Not you trying to ruin my day. I really need a fuse. Uh, right there, sure. Get out of my way. Get, okay. That was close. That was really close. Now I do this. Get faster. Faster reload because I feel like that's the biggest issue right now since I'm alone. I wasn't alone. This might be a little bit easier. I definitely think this is a multiplayer map for you to play with your friends or something like that. Because you probably want communication on this map. I'm not even going to lie to you. Just knowing where Jerome is, just distracting while one person does something. Like one person could just have one zombie uh, running away from it and the every, everyone else can be uh, doing something important. Don't know what that is, but dethawing something, getting parts, pieces, harnesses, I don't know. Anything. Max ammo. So, while Jerome's busy over there, we're gonna take a little lap around here. Um, try to find another fuse. Another fuse. Or harness straps, that works too. Whoa. Hi, Jerome. Where are you at? Not there. Okay. So, I think this is it for the harness. I think the harness is only three pieces. I think. He's annoying. 
Yeah. So the harness is three pieces. The belt, the string, and then the... The clips. But I don't think I want to take it yet, because I think I want to get the other perks. Um, maybe another gun. But I need... Oh, okay. Whoa. But I need to find... Um, need to find more fuses if I want to. If I want to do that. Unfortunately, there are none in the bathroom. There are a lot of zombies in here. A hundred to open these doors is outrageous. There's nothing behind them. And... I think I need that fuse. I'm kinda just gonna run away until I find this fuse. Then I'm gonna hopefully fill the fuse and then... I think that was it, yep. So now, fill the fuse. Then we get either double tap or mule kick. And we get another gun. I don't know, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done here. And we're just, we're just kind of vibing our way through. Two, three. Gonna need to go to the next round. So I cut out a little bit because I ran around for a few minutes looking for fuses. And apparently when you get your last fuse, it becomes a soul fuse or something like that. I don't know. I didn't read it. It was on screen for a second. I didn't read it, but I tried. And basically, this fuse is, like, special because you get to put it back into something. And then it does the thing. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Basically, this is what this is what you need for the grenade. So after you've gotten a fuse for every perk, they then let you do a fuse for the grenade. So you need to get all the perks done before you can even get the grenade complete. Which I guess makes sense because the grenade's really good, but it's also like a late level thing for wards. And what's gonna happen now is I'm gonna try turn around avoid these zombies get guns and prep to fight a boss and I will see you guys when I'm gonna fight the boss so we are all prepped and ready to fight this boss kill a few zombies jump on the zip line and we are going to slide down into battle okay that summons Wow, whoa, okay, so there's a random, oh my, this is a lot of zombies, and I do not like it at all, we are going to attempt to avoid, get the insta-kill, kill them all, and then... We will quick. Oh my. Now that they're. Okay, so those ones respawn. Lake zombies respawn. I see, I see. This means we have to click this quick. Hi, Michael. Right? Yeah. Yep. Hi, Michael. How's it going? Ready to bring your beast to life to fight for you whatever he does i don't know first time facing this um i'm hoping it's not too hard okay so 
so he's tanky and we're off to a bad start. This might be a lot of running because I have no one to distract this thing. He will only ever shoot at me. Where is he going? He, oh, oh, mistimed that. But that takes out all the zombies. That's actually beneficial to me. Because it's not going to kill me unless I don't have Jug. Run, 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 run. I don't like my screen turning red, but I also don't think it's doing that much damage. Let's quick grab that. Okay. I really don't have time to shoot him before getting hit by something. He's chasing. This would really be easier with someone else. Like, even just as a distraction. Because right now, I'm running. And that is all I'm doing. I can't even see it. Yeah, his health is not even that low. Flamethrower does not work. Flamethrower does not work. Oh my. I can't even stop. I just have to keep running. Get a few ray gun shots in wherever I can. Chill out, dude. Stop throwing snowballs. Take out that. He's not even like a quarter health down yet. He is right behind me. Okay, I think he's about a quarter down. Keep running, keep running, keep running. Keep running, keep running. This is kind of annoying. And he's jumping. And he landed his next. No, I can do anything about that. That snowball is not nice. I don't know why these guys are all bunched up next to each other, but that makes it easy to kill. Time to take him out. Oh, Raygun blows up snowballs. That is nice. Snowballs do a lot of damage and slow me. And I'm gonna die, right? No, 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 barely. Clutch. I feel like this is mostly just running. Definitely a second person would help. And lots of damage. Mm, that hit hard. Ray gun is definitely the right gun for this. At least from what I've experienced. Oh my. He's close. This isn't easy, but this isn't impossible. Um, so, okay. I think he's dead. Let's go. Okay. Now you get pack a punch. Okay. So we're gonna go pack a bunch of the ray gun because that is clearly good. Clearly one of the best guns. Clearly. And then we'll probably do flamethrower too. Just because, you know? It's good. You need those points. What are they doing? They are on the ice. So the zombies can climb on and through that, but you can only go one way. At least I think. It makes sense the zombies can go both way though. So now, 
All right, two options. Second phase of the boss. Or escape on the helicopter. And I don't know how to do either. So, we're going to try to do what everyone is easiest. And then the next video will probably be the other option. And it looks like the helicopter is easiest because that is right there. Okay, zombies are still annoying. Where is Jerome? He seems to be missing. And I kind of like that he's gone. Makes it a lot easier. Let's walk around the helicopter. Walk around the helicopter. Easy. Easy. Time to find more parts. Parts, 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 parts. Nope. I don't know where they're gonna be. I haven't seen anyone do this. And I haven't done this. So we are going on a hunt. So I will probably cut out most of it and show you when I find something. So I will see you guys in a second. So here is one piece and once you know what they look like, it makes them significantly easier to find. I'm doing this after the fact because I'm looking at pieces that I haven't found yet in the game, but they are so easily visible to me. So I will come back when I find more because I don't know how long this took me. Right here is an example of how obvious something is, yet I didn't know where it was because I didn't know what I was looking for. So the clear distinction is that the helicopter is a darker black, and once I figured that out, all of a sudden everything became easier to find. Why? Because I knew what I was looking for. But when I didn't know what I was looking for, that was up pain and now that I know what I'm looking for built the helicopter pretty quick so on the hunt for more pieces of the helicopter I found the soul fuse which at the time I didn't know what it did so running away running away taking the zip line down because I think this is where the soul fuse goes but yeah, not happening. Don't know why it's there. Uh, might be a second phase of the boss thing. Don't know yet. Haven't gotten there. So, running around again with my soul fuse. Thinking, where am I going to put this? And what do I do with it? So, obviously... There's a question mark thing on the wall. Uh, I don't know, but now I've noticed it. So we click on it, and there's something in it. It is part of the grenade. Now at the time, I don't know how good this grenade is. I'm just building things because I think they go to the helicopter. So, I build it. And now, I need another part, because you always need another part. The grenade has three parts, the helicopter has like six. Yeah. So I will see you when I figure out what I need to do, because apparently I'm really bad at it. So after another five minutes yeah. of searching, I found the Quantum X fuse. And obviously, I think, hmm. Grenade? Nope. Helicopter? Obviously. Oh wait, no. So what do I do with it? Now, having the most fun time of my life, I decide 
to run around the map for the 18th time. Because that is what I want to do. So, while wandering around the map for the 18th time, I stumble across this. Well, not yet, but this. I can insert the fuse. And now I have to charge it again. So the charging mechanic is clearly something that the devs like. And I think that we'll see more of it in the future if they keep making games like this. Because it artificially makes the games harder. And adds like a little goal to complete. So we must charge. And then, after we charge, we must see which piece it builds. Boom. Time to search. Do, 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 do. So, run over the grenade. And well, look at that. Grenade. I thought it would go into the helicopter, but no, I find out it's a grenade. So now I actually get to test the grenade because earlier I didn't test it. Earlier I threw it at the side of the map and it was useless, but now I see that it two shot zombies and wow. That's actually really good, because this is level 22, and I need to do damage to these zombies, but no, I'm bad at the game. So time to yeah. do a little bit of damage. Now, this would obviously be really good if you were training the zombies. I was not. But. They happen to all want to be in a pair. And all end up. In my grenade anyways. I don't know if your grenade does damage to you. Haven't tested it. Don't know how much damage it does to Jerome. Haven't tested it. This is one of my first times playing through. So I didn't test much. I just wanted to beat the game. And then I finally found the last piece of the helicopter. What I think is a six piece puzzle. The helicopter blades are hiding. And what this is actually really good for is setting up like a little blockade. So you can go build things. So now, there's a helicopter. Now what happens with the helicopter is I don't know, because I press F and escape. So that's pretty much it. I don't know about the phase two of the boss. I don't know about anything else. So that'll probably be the next video, guys. So if you did like this video, like the video, subscribe, maybe leave a comment. Was the map worth the wait? And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.